you have a choice as of whether you want to be here or not. So if this gets too hard for you, you can do it. I'm Kaya. I'm 18. But if I didn't want to do this, I would not be doing it. This is my girlfriend, Tiaza, and we've been dating for two years. She and I were high school sweethearts. We're best friends, and she's my first love. But then I found out she was cheating on me, and I broke up with her. That was right around the time that my dad passed away, so it was a really sensitive time for me. In the midst of me and Tiaza not talking, I met Xavion. I just thought Xavion was really, really cute. I had never, like, really dealt with a boy before. After, like, the, the second or third time we went out, like, like that's, that's when it happened. It's still shocking that I'm about to be a mom. He's moving at his foot. Xavion's been in and out of trouble, and he's currently in jail. I knew of Xavion's lifestyle, but I didn't really care because I had no intentions of being with him and I had no intentions of having to deal with him for like the next 18 years. Then Tiaza started coming back around. She apologized and made a lot of promises. How am I supposed to know you're not going to cheat on me? Because this time it's not gonna be a me take you back. I got too much to lose. It's a baby in the picture now. She's made it really clear to me that she wants to treat him as if he was hers. And I'm really grateful for that because she really doesn't have to. That's probably Dr. Kemp. Hello. Hi. Why are you All right. Hey, all right. Uh, bend your knees. Good. Definitely a baby in there. Yeah, I think she's got a little anterior left. That's about it. That's, what That's I why know. you're feeling so much. That's right here. I got what? Uh, head almost out. How's that? Okay. So, you may be starting to push. How's that sound? Good. Okay. okay. It's so much pain over here. That's just the head going down there. You're not going to be able to get rid of that right now. Okay. So you push this baby out. Just breathe. Okay. Okay. There you go. Breathe. Breathe. And Kaya, you know, please breathe. Breathe. Into your nose. He's almost here. What's this? I'm going to console you. You console me. I'm going to stay up here with her. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Take that big breath in. Get those legs back. Mm -hmm. Bear down. One. Uh, push. Two. That's it. Three. Keep going. Four. Harder. 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 I'm feeling a contraction. All right, big breath in. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good job, Push baby. it out. Three. Everything uh -huh. in your might. Push. That's right. Push. Yep. Push. Here we come on. Push. You got it, baby. Go. His head is coming out tight. Big breath in. Hold it. Give me a push. Got it. Thunder and lightning trying to break You did fantastic. It's too emotional. You want to see the placenta? No. <laughs> you did so good. A human being a human came out human. of my vagina. <laughs> That's crazy. You can't be shirtless. My application to visit Xavion in prison got approved. I'm glad that he's finally going to be able to meet his son. Hey, what's the matter with you? Huh? I got approved to go to the jail. That's cool. And I'm going sometime soon. Um, 
The jail is a long drive. It's like almost yeah. an hour and some change away. That's long. Yeah. I don't want to go by myself. Do you want to go with me? There ain't no reason for me to go. No. I'm not asking you to go in or nothing. I don't understand what's the big deal. Like, I feel like at the end of the day, I, ain't, I don't got to be involved with him. He not in you my life. You don't personally have to be involved exactly, with so. him, but Amor does and I do. So with that being said, you cannot give off frustration towards it me frustration. about it when I can't change the It's just not what it's about. It's not about that. I feel like he still got feelings for you. That's what I feel. Cause he was mad. He was mad at you when you got back together with him. He might. But he's being very respectful if he does. That's his child. And I know if the roles was reversed, I would expect him to bring my baby up there to see me. I want his daddy to be in his life. That's cool, but that's your ex, bro. I get that, and I continue yeah, to come say on, that bro. I understand. All right, so emotionally, that. I can't control that. This is somebody you should talk to. This is somebody you had a baby with. I get it. And talk about me meeting this person and being involved, it, it ain't easy. I get it. My thing is, though, you knew what was coming with all of this when you agreed to get back together with me. You knew what you was getting yourself into. At least I thought you knew. It's going to be pretty cool you get to see your no, father. Yeah, I'm going to have to put your shoe on. It's visitation day. I woke up this morning at 5.30 to take Tisa to work. I know she feels some type of way about the whole thing. But hopefully she can get over it and get past it. Bye-bye. Get kisses. Love y'all. Love you, too. I just hope that today's visit goes really well. And I know Xavier is excited to see us. How did Tiaza feel about it this morning? She was irritated. And I ain't trying to do that today. I'm trying to stay clear, my open-minded. So do you think that you and Jay's relationship is better because he's in jail? Or do you think it'll be better like when he gets out? I think it's better right now because I just think he's maturing from being in there. And I think that him being mature and him looking at things from a mature standpoint yeah, makes me it, want to have a good relationship yeah, I with say him. He's making stuff seem like it's going to get better. Yeah. When's the last time you seen him? A year. Yeah, so how do you feel about going to him? Me is whatever. Like, you keep saying that, but Kaya, come <laughs> on now. I know it's not just whatever. Like, what, you want me to tell you that it's exciting? No, not exciting, but like, tell me how, like, you know, you really feel, like. I guess you can say I'm anxious. Yeah. To see how it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. From the dark, I can see the words you left. I was holding to the morning. My visit with Xavion was a lot more intense than I expected and I'm not sure how to handle it. Hello. How was Amor acting? He smiled when he seen him. I think he know who he was, low key. Mm-hmm. It was kind of sad leaving. They don't get treated like people in there. Yeah, they and, don't. Like, you don't realize how bad it is if you in there and you can see them. Yeah. Um, you know, he said that he wants to be with me when he get out. Because he wants a family. He said he never had no family before. He want his son to have a family. Yeah. And I told Zay, I said, well, you know I'm with Tiaza right now. Like, it's nothing. He was How like, he, he was like, that? okay, well, what you think gonna be better for him? I was like, Lord. <sighs> not best, but like, I don't feel like either one of them is be better, more better than yeah, the other. I was about to say, because I feel like whether 
I'm with Zay or T.A., so he's still going to have a family regardless, and all three of us are still going to be in his life yeah. regardless of who I'm with. So if it came to a point where, like, you know, he get out, do you think it's a possibility that you would want to get back with Zay? I don't know. Any decision that I make is going to be the wrong decision to somebody. So I always feel stuck in the middle. I don't know how to balance it, basically, well, because really... she's going to always feel like that he is like come first, like something like that. You knew all of this was gonna come up and I feel like, see Asia? No, I didn't, and I didn't think about it. Like At last all. year when I was pregnant, no. I didn't think about it. I was just thinking about what I want to do now and I want to be happy now. I want to be with Tia now. I wasn't thinking about how it was gonna affect everybody in the long run, like. <clears throat> I can't continue to raise a more with Zay if Tiaza is gonna be mad every time she hears his name or his voice or anything. Well, that's what you have to tell her. That's what you gotta I do. Tell her. I mean, but I also know she not she never gonna be a hundred percent happy. Cause he gonna always be in the picture. So part of me wish that we never even got back together because then I wouldn't have to it wouldn't be so hard trying to figure out what I'm doing. My mom took the baby home, and he is just coming with me for emotional support. Right behind you. I'm hoping mediation with Carla goes smoothly, but based on our history, I'm not counting on it. You have to take accountability for the things that were done. And that's you can't the idea. just forget about it. Like, you physically see me seven months pregnant at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Now, Kaya just supposed to be ready like that. About nobody, Carla and nobody, Kaya. You it's right, about it's about a more, but we can't can't nobody get to a more until they come through me. Exactly. And that's I what it's gonna be like all about, y'all. If I trust you, then why should I trust you to be around my baby? Right. All right. So let's pause that because that's absolutely nothing we can do with how things happen. What can we do from this point forward, right? Because we can't do anything you about have to ask her. Let me tell you something right now. I'm 36 years old, but but I cry. I'm tired of this. Like, all this that we done been through in the beginning, all that, I was mad. And I'm entitled to be mad. Like, this is dumb. What the I did to her then was then. I take it's that, like, it's then. then. It's and if then. it's hurting you, I'm it's sorry. Like, I can't do anything else to, to take it back. But the baby is five months. She keeping me away from the baby because of what we're going through. Let us figure out what's going on with us so I can get in this family. Right, so that's what we're working on, right? So this is the first time y'all have had this conversation. So. I need to stop off for a minute. Okay. She's never, her <laughs> attitude is always gonna be like that. I had to step out. Oh, I ain't seen you since the last time stuff got physical. What makes you think I'm just gonna jump right in to, yeah, we're we're gonna do, like no, I'm I'm not doing that. She doing too much for me. Like she want me to come in there and she want me to talk and we gonna be the best of friends. And if we if, if we gonna be here and talk, at least let me get out what I got to stay. I don't know what's wrong with that young girl, but she got a real up chip on her shoulder that she need to get off and it's more to it than just me what more can i possibly do and if we keep talking about this past it's not gonna make us no better are you okay it pissed me off and that's why i walked out because i did not come in here to get blamed even more when i'm trying to right my wrong i did not get pregnant on purpose i did not know i was pregnant i did not know that he took the condom off but it ain't nothing that I can do about it. But as a woman, I saw her bigger than my son. Yeah. My son makes stupid decisions. Mm -hmm. But be him being with her, I felt like decisions was gonna be better. Decisions was gonna be wiser. Yeah. No matter uh, how you feel, I am a 17 year old girl who was right. pregnant, mm -hmm. you know, that no layman should have been put towards my way. Because at the end of the day, I stopped my dreams and what I wanna do because I had a baby. I'm gonna tell you something, Kaya. Everything that you got inside of you, I've had inside of me when I was young. I had my first child four days after I turned 16. So I definitely know how that feels. And I know it's gonna be a while before, you know, you allow your heart and yourself to accept everything that's going on. But I just want her to know I'm here. 
And right now, I want to say I am sorry for anything that I've done to you, Kaya. And I don't want you to be mad and keep being mad and keep being mad. Because me and you ain't gonna never get nowhere. In order for me to be able to move forward, I need you to realize I'm trying. I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. I'm young and I work my butt off. And it's not that I'm keeping him from her. I don't want her to be a part of the family because do I want to be doing this by myself? No. I'm trying to right my wrongs by sitting here. I'm willing to let you see him more after this meeting. I'm willing to do all of that, but I want to resolve this, not for me, not for you, not for Xavion, but for Amor. All right, so that's a win, right? Okay. I didn't know I was seeing him today. Is it possible for you? What? I don't know what your schedule is going on. Let me tell you something. I'm, sh <laughs> I'm like a, a kid with a bag of candies. Let me tell you something right now. I'm ready to see that grandbaby. Okay. You've done a lot of hard work today. Said a lot of stuff that was really hard to say. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sitting down and talking with me. I would like more. I really would. Just me and you. I'm really happy for this moment because I've been waiting for it for a while. Yeah. Hi. Say hi. So how did it go? It went okay. I got what I had to say off my chest. Oh, you did? You really felt like you said what you needed to say? Mm-hmm. How do you feel about her coming in to meet him finally? I'm happy for her, I guess. That's good. That's positive energy. You want it to happen, so. It'll be good. How you feel about everything? I'm just chilling. Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. You getting to meet your other grandma, daddy. Come on in. Hi. Hey, dude. <laughs> That's your grandma. Hi. Look at her flower. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> may we have them? May we, may we have them? <laughs> hey, Bob. What? <laughs> you want to look at your face? <laughs> no, it, it looks like mine. <laughs> I know it. I know it. You going to talk? Oh. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. He is so adorable, Kaya. Thank you. So, how you think everything went, Carla? Think you guys can like move forward now? And... We are gonna move forward. That's good. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen slowly, mm -hmm. but surely it's gonna happen. Yo. Hello, this is a prepaid call for. Hey, boo, I ain't got that much time up here, but I have met the baby. I met your baby chick. So excited. <laughs> totally. I know. What he do when he see you? Smile, laugh. Like he always smiling. We love you too. Okay, babe. Well, I'm happy to see this right here. <laughs> like, you know, we started off in a rough patch and now like, you know, this is good. This is how it's supposed to be, honestly. I don't think this smile is gonna leave my face. <laughs> I'm so happy to meet you. I'm glad things are better with Carla since mediation. We're taking things slow, but we agreed to visit the Moore's dad in prison together later this week. Xavion and I talk regularly, but it's still hard to balance co-parenting with him and Tiaza. I know that Xavion still has feelings for me. Tiaza knows it too, because me and Tiaza has talked about it. But like I told him, I'm in a relationship and you got to respect my relationship. I'm about to go in the kitchen. Hmm? Hello. Yeah. So how are you doing? I'm good. Holding on. How are things going with you and my mom? Good. 
looking forward to coming home with my son. Everybody just need to be cordial and everything will be all right. If you are referring to Tiaza? Yeah. I ain't gonna say she disrespectful, but she not respectful either. I mean, but Xavier, at the end of the day, I've used somebody that I've had relations with. So why would she feel comfortable communicating? Well, if she want to step up and be mature and talk about her things, then we can talk about it. She is in my son's life, and I like that. And that would mean a lot for me to talk to her whenever she's ready. Okay. Talk to you later. All right. He feels like it would mean a lot to him if you and him would talk because he appreciate the fact that you're in a more life. I, mean, I feel like I, as though I don't need to. So you know y'all will be co-parents. Y'all don't gotta dap each other up. Y'all don't have to have full-blown conversation. But you should be able to coexist. I think if y'all talk, it will make it easier for me and you don't get why because you're not in my position. Why? Let me ask why. I'm stuck in the middle between two people who ain't going nowhere. He not going nowhere because he his daddy. You not going nowhere because you my girlfriend. It's stressful as hell. It ain't like I got nothing to get some of that. He just got feelings for my girl. I get that. I get that. But at the end of the day, it's important to me that a conversation is had. It don't got to be today. It don't got to be tomorrow. But it's important to me that it eventually happens. Tiaza and I were up all night fighting. You know your lash came on? I'm really upset, but it's important to me to try to work things out with her. She feels that it ain't no turning back. It's at the worst, at the worst that we can get. It's the end of the world. And Listen, I, and even, the, even the worst can be turned around. Yes. If it wants to be turned around. The things that y'all go through, I'm telling you, you gonna look back at this little petty and y'all gonna be like, man, the hell was I thinking? It won't that damn bad. You get so emotional. You've always been like that. And I can tell you, Tiaza, Tiaza shut down when, you, when you're when doing that argument. So in order to help y'all, no matter what she does or what she's done or whatever, you have to somehow take a breath and take a moment because you're not going to get nowhere. I know I see what I do. I get frustrated and I say to the child, I need to break up because I'm tired of seeing you crying and I'm tired of seeing her sad. I see what it is now and I'm sorry. And I got to do more and I got to do I want my relationship to work. I'm sick of TAs avoiding our problems and I'm desperate to talk things out with her. Look at the menu, y'all. See what y'all want. Because y'all both need to eat. I don't want to eat. Let her not eat there. <laughs> we can't talk. Kaya, stop crying. I just don't understand. Like, you don't understand, you don't understand, but I told I you, and you know I told you. Jesus. <laughs> Yes, and I think you're going about it the wrong you're way. Not, you need to I'm open not, your mouth. You do. You need to. You need to open but your I mouth. Been, I opened my mouth last no. night. I've been trying to talk to her. Can we not do this in here? I. This is what I want. Let's stick it out and try to fix it. And if it don't work, then we know there's nothing else we I can do. See, we I did didn't not try. do everything we could keep, do. I'm not, I'm, not about keep, I'm not about to keep going back and forth. I'm you not, every time we go, every time we get together, it don't go right. It don't. So, T.A.Z., are you saying you don't want to figure it out? No, I okay. don't. Okay, let her go. Let her go. <laughs> you can't keep somebody that don't want to be kept. Let her go. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, but don't make me feel like I'm wrong for wanting to leave, though. Like, this is not fair to me. <laughs> we're gonna go home. We're gonna get the check and we're gonna go. Come on. 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 Come
It was really hard when Tiaza moved out last year, but it's given us an opportunity to work on ourselves. Tiaza is staying with her biological dad. We kind of realized that we needed space if we ever wanted it to work. Now, I'm working with my mom from home, and Tiaza comes over every day to help with the more. We're not back together, but I still have feelings for her, and her being around all the time makes things complicated. Everybody think we lying about not being together. Because people be like, damn, like, y'all not together, but y'all still be calling each other babe. And? But that's confusing to other people. That's all I'm saying. We're just in this, I don't even know what to call it. We're just, I guess you could say we just chilling. The beach. We got everything. Y'all need. I need to grab my yeah, phone. Yeah, it's ready. It's. Hey, I'm dressing like I'm cold. It is cold. I don't want to push things with Tiaza, but with everyone asking about our relationship, it's making me think about our past and where things may be going. Thank you. Things with me and Tiaza are complicated. I had been with Tiaza for most of my teenage years. In a sense, I felt like that's all I had left that I was familiar to. I like how you matching me or whatever. We always match. <laughs> I don't even be trying to. <laughs> but when we broke up, I had to realize like the only, my only safe place is me, and I had to get myself together for me and Amor. Bang, look at that one. That's a big one. <laughs> When you love me, when you love me, when you love me, don't hide it. I'm gonna fall like the water. Diving and then you give me the sauce. All right, so, you know, like we took this trip or whatever. You feel like, you know, it helped with the stress that you was talking about? Yeah. I like being here with you. <laughs> Everybody think we lying about not being together. Because people be like, damn, like y'all not together, but y'all still be calling each other babe. And? But that's confusing to other people. That's all I'm saying. I don't feel like it's anybody's business necessarily because it was a point in time where we want, we wasn't even kissing. We wasn't kissing. We wasn't sleeping in the same bed. We weren't even talking to each other. Like, we would wake up, no good morning, no nothing. Came a long way, man. And plus, I didn't know if you were actually, like, not talking to anybody else. So I was like, I don't want to, if she do, like, I don't want to, you know. You don't want to what? I ain't trying to your situation up. Oh, so you would be okay with that? Is what you're telling me? We're not together. I would have no choice but to be okay, Tiaza. I can't control you. I'm not saying that, I'm, but you wouldn't be okay with that. So don't say like, duh, I would not okay. be okay. Oh, don't listen say, to me, just listen say to yeah. me, listen to me. No, 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 I'm not just gonna say yeah because it's a difference. Duh, I'm not gonna be okay with it. But duh, you're, gonna... you're not gonna be okay with it if I start talking to somebody. You broke up with me, uh -huh. right? So if I went and started talking to somebody else, I already know how you would act, and that's why I'm saying you would, you would want your cake and eat it too. I feel like you pick me up and drop me whenever you want to. Whenever, whenever we start getting like back deep into it, yeah. that you leave. And then once I start like to not get on your nerves no more, you want it, you want it again. It's like it's one flip I want you, and the other flip I don't. My you don't. If I, I, I listen, if I'm in a relationship with somebody, bro. And I feel some type of way, and if this, and if it's not bringing me happiness, and I see it's not bringing you happiness either, you were so. Bro, you Something can can can't can't make you that unhappy. What? The next day. Are you serious? It's, it's different. That's what I don't the get. What you mean you the next under, day? What you talking bro. about? What you mean the next day I was get different? I'm irritated. I really. Because I'm really trying to understand what, what what frame what frame you talking about. You don't make sense, bro. Okay. Just we don't have to have a conversation, Tia, because you're not even making. I didn't know. Have it, bro. Don't have it. Right, but don't try to make it seem like I'm not saying. I'm done. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you how I feel, and you're acting they ass. Oh man, I, ain't, I really don't back time. You're trying to make so it. I left you on some, on some outback. Never bro. said that. Like but if you would listen, talk, talk, then you would know. If you would listen to me talk, then you would know. Stop, bro. All right, bro. I know I need to be more patient with Tiaza when it comes to how she expresses her feelings. I'm taking her out to dinner tonight, and I hope we can work things out. Can you believe how fast Omar is grown? Yeah, he got big, fast. Yeah. So, you know, we've been through a lot, 
If you had asked me a year ago, would we still be like friends or whatever you want to call it? Sure. Yeah, me either. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to say sorry for getting mad at you. You know, we're continue to work on my attitude. It don't mean intentional. I'm sorry. No problem. Did you still thinking about going to counseling? Yeah. In the meantime, though, I'm going to try to, like, you know, be emotionally available for you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. So? I don't really know what the future looks like between us. I know the space we in now. I'll be planning on just thugging it out, right? I mean, like, not rushing nothing, just Let continue to do what we're doing. Let me know if you're tired of me, though, because... Yeah, I'm going to let you know. Thank you for, you know, being here for a more and me, but mainly for a more because you don't have to. And he loves you a lot, and you love him, and y'all got a really good relationship. You know, he need all the love he can possibly get, so I really appreciate you. Regardless of everything that we go through. Yeah, I love you. I love you, too. Thank you. I appreciate you too. You always there for me. Even when I'm not emotionally available for you, you know? Even when I shut you out sometimes. Thank you. I try to. Is